Welcome to Good Mythical More. Ten word story. You start. Bro. When you accelerate that uh, two rocket. <laughs> <laughs> You just took two words. Is that that's a, two that's, bracket? Is that one word? Two bracket two is bracket. a hyphenated word. Okay. I uh, get excited. Psych! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was all a joke, bro. When you accelerate that two bracket, I get excited. Psych! <laughs> you can accelerate it. I don't know what a two bracket is. Uh, now, if two bracket is two words, then there is no psych, and it's true. Blowing your mind day by day. Uh, keep an eye out on Twitter uh, later today, at yeah. least for the, the Rhett and Link account. I can't speak to Twitter at large, but we're going to be determining if there's actually a difference between New York bagels and LA bagels. Psych. At Rhett and Link. No psych. Don't go to Twitter. It's a joke. <laughs> Josh, come on in here. Um, I feel like I have like blood in my teeth, like bacon. Um, you know when you talk? Oh, so you got another one? What? Yeah. Tell us. Tell them what this is. I know what this is. Well, this is a spaghetti and meat bagel. So I actually made the bagel out of spaghetti, just bound together with a little bit of dough, some marinara sauce, and then there is a uh, pureed meatballs with uh, cream cheese. I like me a good spreadable meat, you know, and then a lot of Parmesan cheese on top. So, so that's noodles uh, formed into a bagel. Yes. And then meat you get with the, Oh, you got the bottom, because the top's better. It's true. Show them that one. It's kind yeah. of an interesting choice though, n to not go with uh, a marinara based meat sauce. No, you know, we make a lot of interesting choices around here. Why did we encase fish in jello? Who's to say anything? Yeah, I was still yeah. wondering about uh -huh. that. Um, one choice you made before we dig into this mm. was the use of artificial bacon bits. Yes. In the um, soup. Well, yes. what was it? In the, uh, soup, the soup bagel, bagel. yeah. Um, no, it was a bacon bagel. No, it was a soup bagel. Yeah, yeah. there were uh, bacos, which are actually just bacos, like different yes. forms of wheat and flour. Oh, with Link artificial... knows all about bacos. Yeah, he, that he was... would come to my freaking house and he would eat, he would take the bacos, my mama's bacos, <laughs> and he would take the top off. The sprinkle top off <laughs> and eat them yeah. directly. They're so crunchy. That's the way to do it. It's like savory breakfast. It's like savory grape nuts. Like if you were to just put that in a bowl with milk on it, no, that's breakfast done that. right there. I've never done that. I'm about to when I go back to the kitchen. Though. Um, when was the last time you had a bako? Long time. Since uh, I stopped visiting your home. Mm -hmm. well, we figured um, the sourdough so bread bowl, like, that's kind of like a bit of an old school, kind of like touristy thing. Like yep. you're out with your folks, you know, they stop in that 100%. little tourist trap restaurant on the pier. Yes. Yeah, and so we like me and Ellie specifically talked about this of using bacos and not real bacon bits. That's I the level you, of detail. I, we I get think to. you made the right choice. I can yeah. see this at some sort of like family restaurant mm -hmm. in the Bay Area. Yeah, mm -hmm. but not like mm -hmm. the cool techie Bay, like the you know. Ooh, like, yeah, Forrest Gump that that... shrimp restaurant. Yeah, this is a Bubba Gump. This Bubba, is a Bubba Gump. Gump menu item. Bubba Gump menu item. Yes. Yeah. Have you been to Bubba Gump? I've never been. I would like to. I walked through we it once to use their restroom. I went one time. It was not. Shrimp in so many different ways. It was not You good. know what? I have been. been a, yeah, I was at a Bubba Gump with you, Link, eating. Yeah. No, we were that in the restroom, the one, It was the one time I went. I don't remember when, where that I was. I do remember that now, because I, I was like, how do I remember this? I must have eaten there. At the tables, they have the run for us run, and they you basically indicate if you want wait staff to come and help you out. Give you a refill or whatnot, right? Was that big? Yep. Yes, it was one. We of, went it, was, to, it was a VidCon when we had like six people. Like the first at VidCon the we went to Bubba Gump too. Yeah, I've been twice. It wasn't good. <laughs> Don't go. No, I I just think, I, I like, like being able to raise a flag of help me, wait staff. I do like that. I like that idea. I like Red Lobsters that are themed around Tom Hanks movies. I think yeah. you know yeah, there right. should be more of those. Right. I agree with that. You know, explain. Like bubble gum shrimp gum, it's a red it's lobster. It's basically a red lobster. Except it's oh, so you're talking about the food we've already lobster. talked about. Yeah, but yeah. the food is not as good. I thought you were changing something. No, no, no. What I, I like go. is something different. I yeah, think no, you no, can no. get a Did good you meal. Did say it's like or what I like? What I like about it. I like or the what concept. I like about I'm it. saying yeah. I'm pro bubble gum. Oh, yeah. I'd love to go one day. You never I, take me. That's fine. I was following. Yeah. Um, I think you can get a good meal at Red Lobster. 
Mm -hmm. Who was the last person here that ate at Red Lobster? Ellie? Yeah. How was it? Great. She was yeah. great. See? <clears throat> Should we eat this? Yeah. Yeah. So again, this this meat has what in it? Uh, so it's it's just literally meatballs pureed with cream cheese. Uh, the, the amount of times you said schmear hole, I cannot get that out of my head. Yeah, that's the idea. Schmear hole and salmon you, pockets between those two it? things. I don't. Just the I guess schmear hole is the appropriate Bagel. term. Bag hole. Hmm. That's tasty, man. It's certainly dense. I'd like to dip it in some marinara sauce. Mm, that'd be nice. Right. One thing I've learned after eating all these bagels that I made is that I really just like to eat a normal bagel. You, know, you like that'd derived. Be a, that'd be a nice treat for yeah. me. You derived the original bagel. Mm -hmm. yeah. It makes mm. you miss a real bagel. Yeah, it sure does. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Also, bagels are real hard to make. Real struggle. I was really happy when you called them dense circular bread pockets. So mm. I was like, cool, because these are extra dense. I don't know if you guys noticed that last bagel. I don't think it leavened at all. No. In the plagal, which so I was why, happy about. That's why yeah. we, we had to swallow multiple times. It, we was like, it was like a manufacturing line. This is not fabulous. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> There's um, But there is marinara in the in yeah. the bagel itself, right? Just not enough. Mm. The problem with baking stuff, you know? You get too much marinara in there, it's no longer bread, not enough marinara in it, Link complains. And so it's really, you're in a pickle. Can, yeah. can we have the the so, top to the jello bagel though? Because, I, I, is that still like, around? Can you explain, were, were, were bagel bites Somebody's already, a thing? David ate it? When, like, did bagel bites come out Listen, later? Stevie, we grew up in the same place. <laughs> I knew what bagels were. My mom had them at home, and she also had bagel bites, which are incredible. Mm. And your I mom say, didn't have them at home because I had to search everywhere to find you the bagels. You didn't go in every single. My mama had drawers you didn't even know. I about. went through your mom's my mama bathroom. Had, my mom had drawers behind the drawers. Why'd you go to my mom's bathroom? Bedroom everywhere. <laughs> What'd you find? Doing what? <laughs> She's paid me to keep quiet about it. <laughs> Yeah, we have bagel bites. Those are good. I want some right now, weirdly. A bagel bite is just a... It's a slice, is thinly a, sliced small bagel, deep fried. No, it's not deep fried. I love bagel bites. They're disgusting, but I do chips? like them. Bagel you chips. You can have them anytime. <laughs> what are bagel bites? <laughs> <laughs> you fish this out of the trash? They're the, the pizza, the mini... They're tiny bagels that are cut in half and then there's a, a pizza oh, atop them. Those are good as well. Yeah. Wait, what, what else are you talking doing? about? Who, me? I was talking about bagel chips. Him? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't no, like bagel, bagel chips? Chi no, I'm just saying. Oh, I knew about, ba I knew about bagel chips. experience. You knew about bagel chips, but not bagels? You just yeah. thought they only made bagel chips? You ever I'm heard so of confused. an English muffin link? That's another thing. My mom uh, had. McDonald's had those. Mm -hmm. Never got that, though. Never once ordered that. You've never had an Egg McMuffin? Well, not before college. Co <laughs> college was a really eye-opening time a, for you. A lot of, Learn what bagels were, had an egg McMuffin. Woo! <laughs> There's hairs on it though. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat I'll it. I'll still try it. Um, uh, I, I don't need it anymore. The first, I didn't drink coffee until sophomore year of college. That's kind of mm -hmm. normal though, right? Before co yeah, coffee, yeah. I knew what coffee was. Yeah, yeah. I had, you, but you had like tried coffee like your your mom would let you try some coffee and you didn't like it as a kid, right? My mom didn't drink coffee. I don't think I ever tried it. Really? Um, My I, grandparents drank coffee, but maybe I tried it there. I don't, I don't. Well, it was for old, coffee was for old people until I got to college and then everybody was drinking coffee. Well, the first thing I did um, in the coffee realm <laughs> is a uh, cappuccino. I remember like having a cappuccino at a gas station Honestly, that was in the high first time. There were, I, we didn't have any places that made any kind of coffee drinks growing up. And so I, I was at a gas station and there was like, cappuccino, hmm. It, and you just press a button? Yeah. I pressed it and my life has never been the same. <laughs> was know? that in high school, you think? No, that was college. See, so you didn't have a coffee drink until college. No, and then I discovered mocha. Oh yeah. And then I discovered the king mocha. Yeah. Six shots of espresso. Jeez. I, that's crazy. I Are took, you sure that's right? Yeah. Go go to Cup of Joe in Raleigh, North Carolina. Ask for the King Mocha. They'll give you six. At least they did in the late 90s. 
A sliding uh, scale based on how big you are? There's like this this guy can handle no, it. No, the King just... Mocha was specifically six shots and I had to study and I and I drank one and I didn't study a lot and I also never slept <laughs> until the test. But uh You played uh What was that game you and Greg would play? Uh oh, Twisted Metal. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a you good ever played Twisted game, Metal? Twisted Metal Four is what I uh, I grew up playing. I had Rob Zombie. I still listen to the soundtrack embarrassingly uh, when I drive to work. Well, yeah. you shouldn't be driving listening to the soundtrack of Twisted Metal because you'd be like intentionally. Yeah, yeah. It's like a firing homing rock. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll be thinking that you can like fire something from your own vehicle. But no, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it was it was Twisted Metal on the place on the original PlayStation. Bagel bites that were was invented. What we played. 1980. That made oh, me I'm realize like, we're, we're not talking? so different, you and I. No. Like, you not. played Twisted Metal and I played Twisted Metal for, like, we're. Fine. Yeah, right. Only four iterations of the game apart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Support a more adventurous tomorrow. Get yourself a future fast food tea today at mythical.com.